Attention film enthusiasts, today we're delving into a captivating piece of cinematic history from 1968. This movie boasts an impressive ensemble cast, including a beloved Hollywood actor who could easily become a standout favorite. But before we delve into the details, brace yourself for a whirlwind of emotions. This film is packed with humor, shock, and moments that tug at the heartstrings. Have you ever wondered how this remarkable piece of cinema impacted someone's life? Share your personal anecdotes in the comments below. And speaking of favorites, which classic Hollywood actor stole the spotlight for you in this unforgettable film? Now, let's shift the focus onto your experiences. What's a memorable moment or significant connection you have with this movie? We're eager to hear your stories. Don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section. Get ready for an engaging discussion. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into this cinematic masterpiece. It's bound to be a captivating journey. And remember, your stories are what truly enrich the legacy of this film. Keep those comments coming. In The High Commissioner, Rod Taylor takes on a different role than usual, playing a native Australian character. He's a cop asked by Leo McKern, the Prime Minister of New South Wales, to arrest Christopher Plummer, the Australian High Commissioner in London, for an old murder charge involving his first wife's mysterious death. Taylor suspects there are political reasons behind McKern's request because Plummer and McKern have a history of conflict. Despite his doubts, Taylor agrees to the task. When he gets to London, there's an attempt on Plummer's life, revealing negotiations with countries not aligned with major powers. The movie introduces several interesting female characters, Plummer's loyal second wife, Lily Palmer, his efficient secretary, Carmilla Sparv, and Delia Lobby, who runs a gambling house. Secrets are everywhere in this Cold War atmosphere, and Lobby's charm adds to the mystery. Franchot Tone makes a brief appearance in his final role, which is a sad goodbye to a great actor. Clive Reville's role as Plummer's butler brings sophistication, contrasting with Taylor's more laid-back Australian demeanor. Despite its complex story, the High Commissioner keeps the action going with a surprising end, much like Alfred Hitchcock style. Connections between actors can often reveal interesting stories behind the scenes. For instance, Christopher Plummer, a well-known actor, appeared in a movie with Nicholas Hammond, who played Spider-Man in the 1970s. Later, he acted alongside Andrew Garfield, another actor who took on the Spider-Man role. Plummer's daughter, Amanda Plummer, also followed in her father's footsteps, performing in a play called The Lark just like her dad did years before. Additionally, Burt Quauk, another actor, had an interesting aspect to his life beyond acting. He was a member of a fraternity. These connections and anecdotes give us a glimpse into the varied experiences of the cast. In the early 1950s, Lily Palmer starred in the Broadway play Bell, Book, and Candle alongside her first husband, Rex Harrison. During the production, she had to handle the magical cat pie with caution as it harbored animosity towards her, resulting in potential scratches on her hands and arms. Franchot Tone faced scrutiny regarding his political affiliations. In 1940, he was cleared of communist ties after a special hearing. However, by 1949, he was mentioned in The Red Treason in Hollywood as one of Stalin's stars. The movie showcased several Australian actors in non-Australian roles, including Rod Taylor, Charles Bud Tingwell, Leo McKern, Vincent Ball, and Ken Wayne. Many of them appeared early in the film, setting the stage for the unfolding narrative. In The High Commissioner, Christopher Plummer had passed on the role of Gandalf in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy, expressing regret for his decision. The role eventually went to Sir Ian McKellen. Franchot Tone, a member of the group theater, was pivotal in bringing Stanislavski's acting techniques to America. He departed from the company for Hollywood, with Julie Garfinkel later following suit. Both actors cherished their time with the group theater, continuing to support its productions even after its demise. Plummer shared the screen with Susanna York in four films, including The Battle of Britain and Conduct Unbecoming. In the 1968 movie, The High Commissioner, Christopher Plummer, who was later commemorated on a Canadian postage stamp, played a pivotal role. He was deeply involved in the film's production, even overseeing the design of the stamp featuring him. Plummer's performance in the movie solidified his place among a select group of actors who have won the top awards in the industry. Leo McKern, another notable actor in the film, went uncredited, a pattern seen in his other works as well. Christopher Plummer, Known for his roles in culturally significant films like The Sound of Music and Malcolm X, once revealed that Jean Renoir's war drama, The Grand Illusion, had a profound emotional impact on him. In the opening credits, a disclaimer asserts that all characters and events depicted in the film are fictitious. This underscores the film's fictional nature and emphasizes that any resemblance to real-life events or persons is coincidental. 
1968, a Canadian graduate of the High School of Montreal played a significant role in a memorable movie. Interestingly, one of the film's actors, known for his roles in both Star Trek and Star Wars, added a unique touch to the cast. Voicing Emperor Palpatine in Star Wars and portraying Sir Guy of Gisborne in a Star Trek episode showcased the actor's versatility. Another contributor to the movie, Rod Taylor, had an intriguing personal connection that unfolded during the filming of his 1960 TV series Hong Kong, crossing paths with his future wife, Carol Kikimura. Their initial relationship didn't endure, but they rekindled their romance in 1971 and eventually tied the knot in 1980 after nine years of steady dating. This personal touch adds depth to the backgrounds of those involved in the film. The experiences of these individuals highlight the diverse and fascinating lives behind the scenes of the 1968 movie. It's a glimpse into the personal and professional journeys of talented actors who, beyond their on-screen roles, share captivating connections and stories. Throughout the years, Christopher Plummer has dazzled audiences with his outstanding performances on stage and screen. His talent has left a lasting impression on the world of entertainment. From his memorable roles in beloved movies like The Sound of Music to his dynamic presence in theater productions, Plummer has shown his versatility as an actor time and again. In 22, Plummer was honored with the Jason Robards Award for Excellence in Theater, a testament to his skill and dedication to his craft. The ceremony, attended by his co-star Dame Julie Andrews, celebrated Plummer's achievements and highlighted his impact on the industry. Plummer's ability to adapt to different roles was showcased when he was considered for a part in the movie Cats in 2018. Although he didn't land the role, his versatility was evident. As we look back on Plummer's remarkable career, we can see the significant influence he has had on both stage and screen. His performances continue to inspire aspiring actors and storytellers around the world. Christopher Plummer's journey in the world of entertainment has been one of talent and dedication, leaving behind a rich legacy for future generations to admire and learn from. In the late 1960s, a remarkable film brought together three talented actors who shared a strong on-screen chemistry. Over the years, they had worked on various projects across different genres, showcasing their versatility. One of them took an unexpected turn in his career after retiring from acting, only to make a surprising return at the request of a renowned director. Another actor partnered with a fellow colleague in several memorable films, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Together, these actors created a dynamic and memorable cinematic experience, showcasing their unique talents and leaving an indelible mark on the film industry.